Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president and founder of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're going to talk about five reasons why you need to understand what your company valuation is based on. So let's first talk about is valuation art or science? It is very hard to value a company, a startup uh, that has little or no revenue with a less than certain future. And uh, the reason is because all valuations are driven by assumptions. And because there is so much uncertainty in those assumptions for a startup, it is hard to know how accurately those assumptions represent the company's true value. So here are the five reasons why you need to know what your company valuation is based on. Reason number one, your upside depends on it. Very simply, valuation determines how much equity you're going to give up. And so if you don't really understand what drives it and how you arrived at it, you may find yourself in a situation where investors will demand more than you want to give up and more than you should give up. Reason number two, you need to be able to defend your valuation to investors. Investors always want a better deal. They always want to push you for a lower valuation. So if you have a different view, right, if you think your company is worth more than what they're offering you, you need to be able to substantiate it, right? You need to be able to understand what your valuation is based on and present a credible financial plan to support it, but also to be able to derive your valuation from that financial plan. Reason three. You can't negotiate it if you don't understand what you're negotiating, right? To effectively negotiate with investors, you must understand what valuation terms such as WAC, IRR, or terminal value mean and how to calculate them, right? If they use terms and they speak almost like a foreign language and you don't really understand them, you are immediately in a weaker negotiating position. Reason number four, different valuation methods produce different results. Which one is right? Right? There are various ways to value an early stage startup. So to justify the valuation that you want, you want to be able to pick a method which fits your situation the best way. And finally, reason number five, cap table dynamics. Right, Every valuation will result uh, and the subsequent execution of the round will result in the changes to your cap table and the changes to ownership. You need to understand what this means for your control, what this means for your equity stake. Our solution to all of these problems and reasons why you need to be able to value your company is a valuation course, valuation concepts and valuation models for early stage startups. You don't need to know any finance to take it. And here you go. If you like this video, please uh, like it, share it with your colleagues, subscribe to our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos every week. And to learn more about the course, click in the link in the description. Thank you. And I will see you next week.